Lorraine Kelly had admitted that she couldn't believe the cover for Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, was real, and I assumed it was a hoax when she first saw it. As the presenter at 62 was discussing the Duke of Sussex's explosive upcoming book on her show on Monday, 31st of October, when she had told the royal commentator Russell Myers that she thought the book cover was a cruel hoax, before she realized it was the real deal. Myers had revealed that he thought that the cover and its controversial title spam, in reference to Prince Harry being second to his older brother, the Prince of Wales, at 40, who is the first in line to the throne, was a meme. As it comes as a royal expert have claimed that Harry could travel to the UK to promote her autobiography, which could see retaliation from the palace, including stripping him and his wife, Meghan, of their Sussex titles. Speaking of what she thought when she came across the controversial book cover, Lorraine had said, I thought that there was somebody being cruel. I saw it, and I felt that it is a bit mean to do that, and then went, Oh my God, that is the actual book. Talking about the term, Myers, who had thought the book was a meme, had said, He always thought that it was a bit of a slur, that he wasn't comfortable with it, and yet here we are. It will be the title of his long-awaited memoir. Speaking of the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, and the rumours that they could lose their titles over the book, Myers had added, Harry and Meghan seem to have a knack at marketing themselves as royals. Moreover, Lorraine Keddy couldn't believe that her ears when she had heard how much Prince Harry is reportedly earning for his tell-all memoir, dubbing the furmore surrounding the explosive book as sad. After Lorraine had expressed her surprise, over the reports that Harry's ex-girlfriends had declined being involved in the book, as she admitted how sad she finds the whole situation. It's just sad, isn't it? She said, before adding, for a mega deal like that, how much did he get? Well, he got £36 million, Russell had claimed. As Lorraine explained, what? In response. As the royal editor alleged, that Harry had received a massive £20 million for a down payment, while it is understood that the Duke has penned a deal for three books. And despite her shock over the paycheck in Harry's pocket, the TV presenter had added that they had to give him kudos for donating some of the fee to charity, including an organisation in Botswana that's close to its heart. It is brilliant that he is doing that, but at the same time, for that sort of money, they aren't going to want some sort of psycho bubble, she had said, speculating over the contents of the memoir. Russell had agreed, conjecturing that Penguin Random House are likely going to want their money's worth after dishing out millions for the behind-the-scenes book. As before, Lorraine Kelly has urged Prince Harry to bin his tell-all book in a bid to heal the rift between him and Prince William. Lorraine gave a verdict on the book today on her ITV show, as she had urged Harry to bin it in favour of making up with his brother, Prince William, as the pair are said to be involved in a huge royal rift, with many hoping the passing of his grandmother would bring them together and help to repair and build any bridges since Harry has left as a senior royal. In addition, on Friday's programme, she and Russell had also spoke about the upcoming fifth season of The Crown with Lorraine saying her toes curled over the confirmed depiction of then Prince Charles and Camilla's Tampon Gate in the dramatised Netflix show.